Hello everyone and welcome to, to another edition of Blistech Solutions Tuesday Tech Tip. And in today's tech tip, we're going to talk to you about setting named cell values within Excel. Now, you might wonder what that is. It's basically assigning a name to a cell within Excel. So just to ex explain why this is useful, there's many ways you could use this, but this is a common one that I come across. Uh, so let's say, for example, we're setting up a new pet shop. Uh, we have put in our products here and we've got our cost price and we want to know how much we're going to sell it at. So we've got our margin over here, which is 35%. So we're going to simply, uh, to work out how much our markup's going to be, we'll do a little uh, calculation of the, uh, the cost price multiplied by the margin and then close that off. Great, it's added our markup so we know we're going to make 35 pence for each one of these we sell and it's worked out our sale price because there's another formula here that does that great but when we try and copy this across all of the cells because we you know we want to find it out for everything these are all gone to zeros now and rather than finding out the proper markup and the reason for that is the way that Excel copies things like that is it is it goes in sequence so we see here it's adding um multiplying b2 which is our cost price with g2 which is our margin the next one multiplying b3 with g3 and there's nothing in g3 so this is where we can use a named value to our advantage so i'm just going to delete that if i go over here to our value our cell with a value in it if I right click, I can then choose define name. It's already picked up the name uh, as margin because that's what we've got right above it. We can change that to whatever we want, but I'm just going to accept the default, say OK. OK, next, when I'm going to create my formula again, so sum equals um, the cell with the cost price in it multiplied by, and if I start typing margin, you'll see that it's appeared here because it recognizes that named cell. So I'm going to put that in there. there. OK, and now it's done the same thing. But if we copy those cells, rather than going sequentially to G3, G4 and so on, what it's doing, it's adding in the name of that cell. So we automatically get that added, uh, sort of added on. Um, so it's a really useful way of organizing information in Excel. We can reference that name from anywhere. Um, same could go with that um, or any of the calculation that you're doing. If you've got a constant value um, that you want to use, use name values. Additionally, what we can do now is we can mess around with that margin and it will change our markup and sale price to suit. So we can, we can play around with a few things, we could add discounts and so on in the same way. So I hope you found that useful. I'll see you again next time.